Hey, I think we're live, honey. All right, let me see. Hi, guys. <laughs> Hi, guys. Okay, yes, so now we'll wait for everybody to join us. Hello, Terry. Hi, Jennifer. Okay, guys. So, we are going to do another evening of giveaways. Um, tonight, we're going to make some cute cards with Blue Night Rubber Stamps. Um, Leah, had, Leah and I decided that we didn't do a Blue Night Rubber Stamps giveaway yet. We did Kitchen Sink Stamps. We did Creative Vision Stamps. If you missed those, um, there was a video yesterday for Kitchen Sink Stamps. And the video the day before was a Creative Vision Stamps where we did some foiling. So tonight we're going to play with the new Pan Pastels um, from... Blue Night Rubber Stamps. Why am, I can't see the comments for some reason. This is, this is driving me nuts. Oh, there it is. Okay, sorry. Hi, Anne. Hi, Kim. Hi, Robin. Hi, Janie. Hi, Diane. Um, so, yeah, for those of you that weren't getting our live notices, um... Hopefully that's resolved. I did post a link to another YouTube video. Um, Janie wants us to do something with stencils. Janie, yes, I will have to do something with stencils. I didn't have that planned for today, but we will definitely do that. So for those of you who are not familiar with Blue Night Rubber Stamps, they are a small mom and pop store that um, I believe online only based out of Maryland. Um, they just signed up... Um, recently with pan pastels and they have two sets of pan pastels um, the sunrise set sunrise sunset I think it's called this one in which you get a red a orange a yellow magenta there's two browns I'm missing one of mine um, and then I purchased the bronze the pearl and this one is white and then the evening set comes with a light blue, a phthalo blue, a, well, let me tell you the right names here, sorry, ultramarine blue, phthalo blue, purple, violet, um, it comes with one of these greens, which is the chromium oxide green, and then I purchased the bright yellow green from them, um, you have light blue, black, and then this is the colorless blender. So two different sets you can check out at Blue Night Rubber Stamps. It also comes with the cases. So you get these cases. Um, there's a couple extra colors you can purchase individually. And a sponge, a sponge kit, like a, a tool sponge kit, right? So I'm going to work with this set. Leah's going to work with the other set. And the two stamps we decided we're going to work with today, Leah is going to do the Silhouette Wolf. You guys saw her work with the Silhouette Panther last time. And I am going to work with this Silhouette Sailboat. Okay, we have five by three and three quarter piece of Nina Solar White. And we're going to start. All right, ready? Hello, Nikki. Hello, Kitty. All right. Hi, Kim. Okay, Leah's a little tired, so she's being a little quiet tonight. They're all saying, hi, Leah. Hi, Leah. Do you want to say hi back? So we're going to move this off to the side, and Leah's going to use that as reference while she colors. Let me get you some sponges, honey. Okay, so you have use Yeah, so you have the red there no, and yellow use, there. I want to use like these thingies. Like, well, these are the ones. 
Dang. Those, that's that's going to make too much of a mess. That's mm -hmm. too. It kicks up too much powder dust. So use these. So you can use red, orange, yellow, and then I'll do over here with mine. Okay, well, come on. Do you just want to want to just give up on your fans and go to bed? No? Okay, well, come on, start laying down some color, just like you have here. Do a tiny bit of red or magenta at the top, and then orange and yellow, and blend it all in. I'm doing that. It is kind of late for us. Hello, Birch from Orlando, Florida. Hello, Mary. Um, it's Saturday, so as some of you guys know, I have been waiting for this contractor to come and fix my deck. Well, he came all right. Um, he came and he originally gave me the estimate two weeks ago to replace 10 pieces of rotting wood on my deck, including what's below. You can streak that. Do whatever you want. And he was supposed to show up yesterday. Didn't show up yesterday. Was supposed to come today. He did come today, late as usual. And then he tried to get my mom to pay the rest of the job. And I was like, no, you're not going to pay it until he's done. He hasn't even started it yet. So he was literally here for an hour and a half. And he replaced like four pieces of wood and left. And it was definitely not all of the rotting pieces of wood around my deck and not what I expected. So, yeah, he did an awful job. The, there's gaps between where the wood is. It's definitely not pressure-treated wood. And I feel like this guy kind of took advantage of me thinking that I'm a woman. But I'm, as you guys know, pretty handy. And honestly, if I had a circular saw, I probably would have just done it myself. Except I don't have time and I don't have a circular saw. And, um... Anyway, he says, well, I'll be over to collect the rest of my money. And I'm like, you didn't do the job right. So he's giving me all kinds of lip over the phone and says, I'll be at the house in five minutes. So I got my neighbor to come over and thank goodness my neighbor is a Marine. So, you know, he's kind of like a no nonsense kind of guy. And so I say to the kid, you know, why don't you, you don't need to swirl it that much, honey. Why don't you come over tomorrow, fix the rest of the piece of wood and I'll give you the rest of your money. Like I have no problem paying you, but I want this redone. And I want the other pieces of rotten wood taken care of. I don't want my daughter falling off the deck because I have this rotten wood. And he's like, yeah, okay. So he says he's going to bring out two more pieces of wood and finish the job tomorrow. And then I would pay him for the completed job. Well, yeah, you use this side for orange. Hold it like this. And you use that. Yep. And just dab a little bit. So anyway... I tell one of my friends, you know, who also has a brother who, or somebody who does it on the side. And he flips out when I send him the pictures. And he's like, this is awful. I'm going to call the kid. I'm going to flip out. You need a permit to do that kind of work. He clearly doesn't know what he's doing. He didn't cut the wood right. And that is definitely not pressure treated wood. And so now I'm even more upset because I feel like, you know, I'm supposed to be pretty smart at, you know, doing this kind of stuff. And here I got bamboozled by this kid. Um... So anyway, um, I ended up after, you know, researching this kid, which I probably should have done in the first place. I found his Facebook. I found his Instagram. Um, the Facebook and the Instagram basically say I'm a liar and a cheat, which I wish I had found sooner. And, um, you know, in the meantime, he's, he's, touting his business everybody needs to call me and let's do business and stuff like that and I wanted to give him the benefit of the doubt he's a young guy he's got a little kid and just be like okay maybe I'm overreacting let's let this kid have a chance but um I just basically just sent him a text and said you know what I'm canceling the job I don't feel comfortable you didn't do the job that I asked you to do that's clearly not pressure treated wood you jerked me around for three days on when you were going to get here and he goes, that's fine. I can do other jobs instead of arguing with you over a lousy $100. So moral of the story is do your homework, do your research. Yes, you get what you paid for. I'm really kicking myself because I'm usually a person who does a lot of research and doesn't fall for things like this. And I fell for it and I paid for it. So now I'm out $150 and have crappy pieces of wood on my deck that I'm going to have to have somebody else now repair properly. And as much as I would love to 
bash this guy. I know it's not going to make anything any easier, and I'm just hoping that other people out there don't fall, you know, for this. And I, I kind of want to, like, warn all my neighbors, but at the same time, this guy knows where I live. I don't need him coming and trashing my house when I'm not home. Leah, they said you are doing a great job. Jennifer says she likes our nail polish colors. Leah keeps going and doing her own nails lately. But yeah, I noticed that today. I'm like, where's the gold polish? And she switched it out to... Um... I didn't like the gold because it got ugly. But I like this better because it was instant dry. That almost looks like the color we got on our toes when we did our pedicures together. <laughs> That's why I wanted it. Yeah, it's nice to see you waking up now. Leah's doing a beautiful job. Thank you. You know, you guys are talking about, what are you talking about? The Orange is the New Black? I haven't watched that. I haven't watched Stranger Things. Yeah, my neighbor has that. So when I went over and was knocking on his door, he's like, what do you want? I'm like, I need you to come out on the deck when this kid gets here. And the kid was all macho when I was texting him. You know, and I say kid, he's he's 23 years old. So he's, you know, 20 years younger than me. And he's clearly got a lot of life lessons to learn growing up. I kind of made more orange. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm done. You're done? I think I'm done, too. Okay, so do we need to blend anymore? You think we're good? Oh, yours looks great. I think we're, I don't think we need the colorless blender. I think our blending looks pretty good. So we're going to move these out of the way. All right, you got your mini Misty all set up over there? Okay, let me just wipe the desk down real quick because we do have a little bit of powder. So just lift your paper up, hon. Hold on. Lift your paper, babe. Oh, I got a mess. Yeah, we got a little bit of, just a little bit of residue. No big deal. We're just going to spray that down and wipe it. <laughs> so, did you use all my cleaner yesterday? No. That was uh -oh. happening to me. Uh-oh. Well, good thing we have regular water over here. So, we'll just use regular water. Wipe this down quick. That's what I do like about these pan pastels is they blend so easily. They're very fun, and they're not very messy. Um, I love my distress inks, but they I get ink everywhere on everything. So with this, it's just real easy to clean up. So here's Leah's background. Here's mine. Yes, Janie, you do need to spray pan pastels to set it. It's like a very highly pigmented, super fine chalk. Um, so we are both going to move on to stamping now, though Leah is light years ahead of me here. Bye. <laughs> Man, come on, let me, this isn't a race. I am going to use my Tim Holtz platform. They can't see you, hon, so right here. Wait till you're done and then I'll stamp mine. Oh, yes, Kim. Game of Thrones is definitely agreed. The winner. Oh, please. That's like something stuck. Oh, it doesn't fit right. Well, too late. Just press it down. I won't really press over there because I don't want to really get stuck on there. Accidentally moved it to Renee. Today we are playing with blue night rubber stamps and pan pastels. Oh, oh that looks pretty good. Yeah, okay. I like that. But I would, I would, um, oh, your card moved. Oh, I had it in the corner. That's why. Don't worry, I'll show you how to fix it. Go ahead and ink it color up again. It. You can color yep. it. Go ahead and ink it up. We'll color it again. Fix 
that's our spray bottle. Nikki, you're not old enough to have grandchildren. Janie, I'm 42 and I definitely know everything now. I just don't know how to pick out men. So now that I don't have to wait around for this guy to come fix the deck tomorrow, Leah, what should we do? That looks great. Mm. I don't think you need to stamp it again. I think it looks good. Go fishing. Go fishing. That sounds like a great idea. Fishing. <laughs> I'm going to bring the boat. Okay. So now that you're done, Did you find a black one? we'll fix this in a second. Nope, we're actually going to use the ink pad, but you're going to, you're going to slide over. We're going to set this aside for a second, and no, you're going to okay. clean that up. Yep. And I'm going to stamp. Let's see how mine comes out. Leah is a pro. She was asleep on the couch, and I'm like, Leah, we have to go do our live. And she kind of opened one eye and was like, yeah, I don't really feel like it. And I'm like, your viewers are waiting. I didn't, so. I didn't open one. And then you rolled back up and curled back up on the couch. I did? Yep. <laughs> then you went upstairs and laid in the bed. And then I said, I'll get you juice. And then I said, are you sure you don't want to go and do your... Light? Did you just spray that over your picture? No. Okay. Okay. I'm ready. They said, Leah, that is gorgeous. All right, put your stamp away on your backer board. Put this away. We're done with this. That's all you do. That's how easy it is to put these away. We don't have to put them in bags. We just put them on our backer board. Show everybody how easy that is. Just they come laminated with the image on there, and that's it. We stick it on and throw it back in the basket, right? I'm a little too high with my stamp. I should have been a little lower. That's okay. I think I can fix it. What do you mean you think? All right, so what we're going to do with yours, to fix yours, is we're going to take the ink pad and we're just going to rub a little bit down there and down at the bottom here. Okay. Don't touch it. We gotta spray it. Wait, what? <gasps> oh, look at this. The ink cartridge at work exploded on me. Wait, me and see. I was like, ew, I don't have it like having all this ink on my fingers, but then I was like, wait a minute. At home, I can't wait to get home and get ink on my fingers. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Where's my spatula? All right, we're going to give this a sec to dry off while we clean off the stamp because we want that ink to soak in. Oh, um, by the way, we used our favorite black ink, the VersaFine Claire, and our nifty little handle from Blue Night Rubber Stamps, our little magnetic handle, makes it super easy to hold on to the ink pad. This, like, night is, like, fading away. And um, these little magnetic plates you can buy and put on other ink pads, but it does come in handy. I find that I drop the ink pad less using that. I think it's just fell out in the corner there. Why are you? Why? We're at Why? 22, Leah. How many do we need to do a giveaway? 25. 25. We're almost there. Mom, who did we did yesterday when I flip it and say hi to them with my face? No. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to put my stamp away. I'm going to put 
Do you ever show your face on the camera? You don't need to see my face. Nobody wants to see wrinkles and gray hair. You already told them. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, one time you put your face on camera. I lost the video. Okay. Now, I'm not, I'm okay with this. I'm not okay with having purple mountains. So to <laughs> fix that. Purple mountains. Just going to go in with our little softy tools here. I copied mine, but I put more red. So, I'm going to take my little handy dandy softy tool. I am going to just gently dip it into the green and just kind of swipe that into my mountain there. It's like you had a picture of this, you would, and you swapped them around. You wouldn't know which one is mine on the picture. Because it looks exact the same. But this one's like more like bigger. This one's small. Are you cleaning your boat? I'm going in with some more blue here to make my water more blue. Oh. Hi guys. Did you see my Nope. Mm. Hello? <laughs> yeah. Alright, so now we have a little more blue in there. What do you think? Hello. <laughs> it said, hi, Leah. We see you. <laughs> Uh, the tool that I'm using is called a soft knife. This is the name of the company, S-O-F-F-T. When you purchase the Pan Pastel sets from Blue Knight Rubber Stamps, you get this tool, a couple of um, refills to go with it. I think you get like two of the refill heads there. You get one of these or two of these. I forget how many. And then you get one of these. Uh, sorry, which one do you get? Let me show you the right one. I think you get one of these, but you do get a couple of these as your starter set to go with the pan pastels. And then you can also purchase, which I just purchased this set from Blue Knight Rubber Stamps, which comes with, how many applicators are in here? 10, 12 applicators in here? Hey, is that my shoe? Yeah, 12 that... applicators you can also purchase from uh, Blue Knight Rubber Stamps. Mommy, is that my shoe or is it? They do kind of look like to look like it, but this, this is a... I don't know how to explain this sponge. It's not like a regular sponge. It is almost like a makeup sponge. It's a little heavier duty. And then all you do to clean these off is just uh, wipe them on a paper towel. Okay, so now is the fun part. Um, we need to set them. Do we, oh, we wanna add, uh, we wanna add sentiments, Leah? No. I wanted to add these new birds. I just picked up these new birds and I Ooh. think these are gonna go great Ooh. with all of my Blue Knight rubber stamp sets. So this Mommy. one's called Birds 2. Mommy. Yes, they're a high pigment pastel, which is chalk based. Nikki, they're dry. They're not, um, they're not wet. They're not oily. They are dry, but they're a very low dust, highly pigmented chalk, almost like a very super fine, high end uh, makeup. I'm using a block. Oh, you what? want a mini block? What? Here you go. I'm stealing the ink first. Okay, you're using the ink first. So take the handle off. You want to take the handle off. Thank you, Sherry. Sherry said we make it look easy. Great job. I don't know what birds I want. Kind of like this one. May I have the ink when you're done, Leah? This one like looks like hmm. I don't know. Looks like something. So it's going like this yeah. way. 
Now that's his tail, and those are his wings. So which way is he flying? Let's go over here. These birds are easy. Yes, Nikki, I'll link everything for you. I'll link the stamp sets. Oopsies. I'll link the... Uh... Oh, that's okay. We can fix that, I think. Mm. I'll link the uh, pan pastels. I'll link all of the stamps we're using. I will fix it. Oh, need something. Fix it now. I need the spray. We can't spray it until we fix it. No, I mean the spray. Oh, the cleaner? The stamp. I just use I just use my rag. I don't use spray on these because they're so little. Here, give me, I'll clean it for you. Do you want another bird or are you good with one? One. Okay. How do we fix it? Um, I also think we should probably stamp some kind of sentiments. I don't want sentiment. You don't want a sentiment. You just want to stamp your sentiment inside. Mm -hmm. You're gonna get a drink box. You're gonna get a go drink get a drink, you're leaving us. And um, what I like is Blue Night Rubber Stamps has a lot of silhouette stamps. So using these pan pastels becomes very quick and easy in making cards. Um, because you just put the pan pastels down and then you stamp over them or you can stamp, do your pan pastels and then stamp again over it, which is kind of cool. Um, so let me move these guys out of the way. I did want to put, I do have a thank you sentiment. This is a new one. This is the thank you wreath. Um, and it comes with this sentiment that says, thank you for all you do. I did cut mine a half just so I have the thank you separate. Now, the trick is, can I stamp it straight? Normally, I have a piece of scrap paper. Here we go. Oops. All right, that looks pretty good. Oh, I still missed it. Mm -hmm. Oh well. How you fix mine? Oh, I gotta fix mine. Yours looks nice. No, I'm gonna show you how we fix it because I always show how we fix it. All right, so we're gonna go old school here. We're gonna grab our handy dandy stamp on jig I understand there is a company out that kind of made a newer version of this, and the block is clear. Listen, you can find this guy for five dollars at the craft stores. Okay, so. I've cleaned off my stamp. I've lined up this. You could make. You could almost make this if you have a T ruler. You could almost make this. So I've lined up my little handy dandy plastic sheet. One side is smooth. The other side is textured and matte. We want the smooth side. We are going to butt it up against the corner of the stamp of a jig. This is going to go directly into the corner there, and we don't want to move. So we're going to use this hand to hold the stamp of a jig and hold the clear plastic down so it doesn't move. It's butted up nice and tight. The right hand, now this is for right-handers. If you're left-handers, you're going to do it the other way. We're going to take our image, and we are going to take our block and stamp it straight down and up. Okay? Now we're going to have an impression of that image on our plastic sheet. We're going to bring our cardstock in that we want to stamp. We're going to line this up exactly over where we want it to re-stamp. So I missed the bottom of the U. And then carefully bring our stamp of majig over and line up the um, outer corner of the plastic there. So as I move the plastic, I'm moving the stamp of majig so that it stays in line with it. And that is pretty much perfect. Now I'm gently lifting this out of the way. Nope, I'm not lifting that out of the way. I moved the wrong piece. I'm gently sliding this out of the way, the plastic. Now I'm going to re-ink my stamp. 
And I did it, and it's wrong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can see it exploding. I moved it. So, what do we do when we make a big mistake like this, Leah? Do it again. We grab a scrap piece of paper, and we use that. Right so, up. yes, we do. You smell good. Thank you. Yeah, put it in and cut it out and then put it Yeah, out. that's crooked though. I want it straight. I think that I have it on the block crooked. That one on the um paper. Uh, that over over inking. That one on the paper is really good. Mommy is making this way too hard. Bye bye. No, oh, you can't leave yet. We gotta put these into cards. We're not done. Bye. You don't just ditch us in the middle of filming. Bye. Are you going to bed? No. She's ditching us, folks. Please take your drink. I can't leave. I, I have an unfinished card here. I need to finish. Do 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 do. Bye. Now I'm looking for paper that I can stamp this straight on. They say good night, Leah. Goodbye. White embossing paper or white embossing paper on the black strip. Oh yeah, that I could do too, Janie. Cut it down, night, Leah. Good night, Leah. Good night, Leah. Yeah. Good night, Leah. Up, oh, we're at 24. Who's gonna do the giveaway if you're going to bed? We need one more person. You can't go to bed yet. You have to pick the giveaway. Oh, here she comes. She's back, folks. Okay. You can't go. We're going to do the giveaway. Let me fix my sentiment here. Ah, uh, 25, Leah. Okay, I'm going to pick right now to someone leaves. Okay, you can go ahead and... St okay, wait. Everybody who's interested, and I believe this is only for United States. I don't think Blue Knight Rubber Stamps ships internationally. I'm sorry. I will make it up to you guys. So if you are in the United States, please comment if you are interested in the Blue Knight Rubber Stamps $25 gift card. Go ahead and start commenting. Leah will um, wait a second give everybody a chance to comment who wants to win. And then she will scroll through in a second and she will pick a winner. Weena, weena, chicken dinner. Well, I still attempt to fix my mistake mistake. Mommy, can start Nope, give them a second to comment. Ooh, now we got 26 people. I noticed that before. You did notice that before? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Somebody dropped off. I think people be, just maybe had bad connections. Thank you. Mommy said, really love you. <laughs> I have to be careful with my text Whoa. messages now because Leah does read, is learning to read, <laughs> and she can read my text messages now. <laughs> I don't have a voice to be quiet. <laughs> Can I start scrolling? The only thing you're reading is me talking to people at work. Can I? People are still commenting. Okay, go ahead. Start commenting. Get your comments in. She is starting to scroll. Now. You only come down here so you can give away free stuff. It wasn't free. I had to pay for it. <laughs> Keep scrolling. Up, down, up, down. I don't know. I'll figure out a way to fix this. I think I like Janie's idea of using embossing powder. Now, Leah's little boo-boo here... See if we can fix this. Then lady you need to wipe it away.
All right, I got the majority of it up using a mono sand eraser as I blew my sentiment away. I huffed and I puffed and I blew my sentiment away. All right, so now, watch your toes, baby. I'm ready. Okay, hold on. Let me try to fix this. The cat the face. Renee C42. Renee C42. Leah likes your cat face. <laughs> Renee. I'm not allergic to them. You are. I believe that you just won $25 to Blue Night Rubber Stamps, Renee. And I. Hello, Denise. You have to fix my card. I am fixing your card. Are you leaving us? You're just going? Bye. Good night. Don't forget to brush your teeth. Did you use any red? Did she use any red? This looks like there's some red in here. You guys saying? Yeah, Denise, we are almost done. <laughs> I don't know, Janie. The one day she just picked out a name. She didn't even look at the image. Yesterday and today, for some reason, she did pick out images. Whoops, too much red. All right, I am reading you guys' comments as I attempt to fix her little boo-boo here. I also invested in this little eraser to erase some of that. All right, so it's not a big blotch now. I mean, you can still see it a little bit, but it's not a big black blotch, blotch like it was before. Okay, so there we go, playing with some pan pastels with Leah. And again, I will link for you guys the, um, the, the two sets of pan pastels. These are our images. Nay, email me at nancystamps15 at gmail.com. nancystamps15 at gmail.com. And I will get your gift card out to you. And here are our two cards that we made. Renee, you're going to get one of these in the mail. And we'll have to put Leah's together and we'll have her autograph it. And then I'll just have to fix this one. I'll figure it out. I think I'm going to take Janie's idea and heat emboss it. So just to show you how we set it. Use the spray Krylon Shortcuts. We just lightly missed it and that will set it in place. You can also use hairspray. If you've watched any videos from um, Blue Night Rubber Stamps, they do have a Facebook page now if you guys want, I mean, sorry, a YouTube page if you guys want to go over there and join. Um, um, their blog has a lot of different techniques, different designers. We all have different styles. Um, you can check out their blogs and their other YouTube channels so if you want more ideas from Blue Night Rubber Stamps. 
Okay, guys, I know it's getting late. I see some of you have already gone, said goodnight and gone to bed. I appreciate you guys staying on with us uh, live. Congratulations again to Renee. Thank you so much. The stamp sets that we use today with the pan pastels are the Silhouette Wolf, the Silhouette Sailboat, we used both sets of pan pastels from Blue Night Rubber Stamps, which, yes, I will link for you guys. We used some birds from the Birds 2 set. And the sentiment I got off of the Thank You Wreath set, the Thank You on there. So those four stamp sets, the pan pastels, and don't forget about the handle from Blue Night Rubber Stamps. Okay, guys? Thanks for watching, and we're not done yet. We still got another couple days of giveaways to do, so if you're not subscribed, I will put the link for you to click in the corner for you guys to subscribe. Make sure your notifications are on. You want to click the little bell, and thanks for watching, and keep on stamping. Good night. Bye-bye.